Alright y'all, so I'm gonna start off this video by saying that I technically didn't meet Lil' Ken, but I was in the VIP section and I did dance with Lil' Ken. So this video isn't completely clickbait. And not only was Lil' Kim there, but Rick Ross was there, Christian Combs was there, Stevie J was there, and a few other celebrities were there. So if you want to see how I got invited to this dope event, keep watching. Are you ready? It's 5 a.m. Place, Toronto, Ontario. Mosa? <laughs> She's so annoying. Yeah, let me, let me finish my journal input for the travel walk. <laughs> We're about to embark on this long journey to Brooklyn, New York. It's about an eight hour drive. I'm gonna get some food first, because I'm starving. Mm. <laughs> Let's do this! Let's do that! This rental car is so beautiful. Like, yeah, last week. <laughs> but I heard the chicken nuggets are good. I heard everything's good, actually. So, how did a little artist like me get invited to this huge art show? Well, let me tell ya. So a few months ago, I got an email from a company asking if I wanted to be a part of their Biggie Inspires campaign. They were looking for artists to create artwork inspired by Biggie. Basically, the 25 year anniversary of Biggie's album, Ready to Die, was coming up and they wanted to have an art gallery show to celebrate. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, like, I don't know how they got my email address, but I think it's because they saw this painting that I made of Biggie on Instagram, and I'm pretty sure that that's how they found me. So obviously I said yes to the collab, and a few months before the event, I created two new paintings inspired by Biggie. Check it out. Thank <laughs> you. 
right, you guys. As you can see, I'm done with first painting. It took me about two and a half days of painting, and I love it. I really love how it came out. I wasn't sure of the background at first, but once I painted her, the background really fits with the painting. Yeah, looks really good. Um, maybe you guys noticed partway through, I changed the color of her nails from yellow to the like turquoise color. I think it looks better that way. I made sure to put a lot of detail in the chain, in her sweater, in her curls. I feel like those details really make a painting pop and I'm ready to start the second one. So here is the canvas. It's the same size. 18 by 24. I think it's gonna take two days to do this one too. So I'm gonna literally start it right now. It's most definitely gonna be a late night tonight because I really wanna finish it tomorrow. Like really wanna just finish it tomorrow. So the good thing about doing two paintings back to back, so this is kind of a mini collection, but my palette is already like workable. Like I don't have to start fresh with a brand new palette because I have a lot of similar colors. For the paintings, I want to use the similar colors so that they kind of match since they'll be shown together and they're kind of for the same thing, you know? Yeah, I'm super excited to see them when they're finished like together. So yeah, girl one done. It's on to girl two. obviously aren't of Biggie himself, but I wanted to do something different because I knew that literally every other artist was going to paint Biggie. So when I started to think about who's inspired by Biggie, I started to think about black women in hip hop. And as a black woman, I wanted us to be represented at this art show. So that's why I decided to paint two black women inspired by Biggie style. And if you've got a good eye, you'll realize that these paintings are actually Biggie's body and Biggie's poses just done by black women. And I thought that was just pretty dope. So a few weeks before the event, I shipped these paintings out to them. And as you can see, they just shipped them back to me. So then once we got to Brooklyn, it was time to get ready for the show. Melissa and Rania about to step out to their star-studded affair, looking beautiful, amazing. <laughs> Bye! Enjoy! Have a lit time, network, network, network! <laughs> Bye! So me and my girl Rania arrived at the venue and it was at the beautiful William Vale Hotel in Brooklyn. And as soon as we got there, we had to go downstairs and check in and go through security. Y'all, Rania is about to get So proud, so excited. I'm excited. But after that, we went up to the rooftop and that's where the event was. There was so much Biggie inspired artwork on the walls, including my two paintings, of course. So after we checked out the art, we went outside to the VIP section, you know, to the red carpet to take pictures. And that is when Lil' Kim arrived. Like literally, I was about to go take my picture and then all you see is like this 
huge entourage of people coming out into the balcony and everyone's like, Will Kim's here, Will Kim's here. And they completely forgot about me and my pictures, which I don't blame them. And they're like, Lil' Kim, can you come, can you, let's take some pills. And like, it was all about her at that moment, but I was literally right there. So like, it was so dope. So yeah, after Lil' Kim took her pictures, then I got to take my pictures. <laughs> it was honestly so surreal. Like, this was the fanciest event I have ever been to in my entire life. They were serving food on a platter to all the guests, and it was like the best food I've ever had. Like, I could still taste that shrimp right now. Oh my god. They had an open bar with all the drinks you could ever imagine, and I literally felt like a celebrity because of how exclusive it was. Since I was a featured artist, I was in the VIP section and I literally got to be arm's length from all the real celebrities. I didn't get to talk to any of them though because it was super busy. Plus they all had an entourage of their people like just following them wherever they went. It was also really loud in there because the DJ was blasting the music and to be honest, I wouldn't even really know what to say to like Lil' Kim or anyone like that. So I was just happy to be in the room. And all in all, it was an experience that I will never forget. So that's how I got featured in an art show with some of the biggest names in hip hop. Oh, and they also gave us this dope shirt that I literally wear every day. <laughs> yeah, so the next day, me, Rania, and my sister explored New York. We went to Times Square because I've actually never been to Times Square and that was fun. We just had our breakfast and now we're about to take the metro, what do they call the train here? The subway? The metro train? The subway train metro? <laughs> About to take the train. The train just got here. Yes. We headed to Times Square, y'all. Let's do this. Oh my gosh, this is so busy. We literally were in there for solid 30 minutes. Literally just waiting to use the bathroom. Solid. Because <laughs> of this one kid. One kid who was in there for not even kidding, like 15, 20 minutes. And now we're waiting for these lovely gentlemen to begin dancing. <laughs> to go to the store of one of my favorite brands, Kith. Now y'all know I do some apparel work and Kith is one of my biggest apparel brand inspirations. If you've never heard of Kith, definitely go check it out. But I literally couldn't afford anything in that store. It's kind of like a luxury street brand, but it was just nice to see it in person and to just like be there and to get super inspired. Slice, 
Yes. Good choice to get to that. Oh my god. And then it was time for the eight hour drive back to Toronto. Imagine if we have to go on a bus right now. <laughs> That's the story of the biggest art show of my career so far. I was just taking it all in and I'm just super grateful that I even got this opportunity. Like, I never thought when I decided to become an artist that it would lead to these types of dope experiences, especially so early in my career. Like, as y'all can see, my studio is still in the living room of my house, you know? Like, I'm not a huge, huge artist yet, but I was just really inspired by being a part of this and it kind of felt like you know kind of a glimpse into the future of the type of experiences that are out there for artists like me so I just want to share this experience with all of you guys so you guys can see that like if a random artist like me who barely knows what she's doing can end up in these shows and these spaces and these experiences and these opportunities then you guys can definitely do it too and let's just do it together and see what this art world has to offer us so I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video if you're new to my channel and you made it all the way to the end thank you I appreciate you my name is Melissa Faulkner I probably should have said it at the beginning but now you know and if you like this video I would love if you hit that subscribe button because I'm all about sharing my journey as an artist and all the ups and downs that happen and just you know that art life so Thanks again for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.